Welcome to Food and Food. With your host, Laura Matthews. And your guest, Michael Santos. Hi, welcome. What do you think about adding butter to your coffee? To my coffee? Yes. It's my twin's favorite thing. He loves butter in his black coffee. I don't feel like those two things go together. No butter You know what I do like butter on, though? What? It's my grilled cheese. And how I make my grilled cheese is you, you get two pieces of white bread, right? You butter both sides of the bread. So you're, it's like four, basically four sides of butter. And you butter, you go to town with that butter. Then you get Kraft, terrible Kraft American cheese. It's like in the sleeve, you know, you like open it up. Yeah, you get like, it's two orange, right? It's yeah, it's orange, up. it's orange. Oh. You get two of those, you put those on. Then you put the other bread on, put it on the stove, let it let it simmer. Got like 45 seconds, then you flip it, then juice, you press it down so it makes like a little sound. And then you, you wait till it's like nice and golden brown, right? Cut the middle, and then you just enjoy. So you don't like toast both sides? No, I both sides. I'm not an animal. No, no, both sides of each bread. Oh, I've never done that. No? It's so weird. But anyways, we have to cut for commercial breaks right now. And Tired of your world domination plans being thwarted by pesky superheroes? Then try this new product from Deathly Bastards Co. Evil Genius Juice. This drink will make you turn into an evil genius within the first 10 seconds of the sip. You'll be faster, stronger, and even more sinister with each gulp. Mmm, deliciously evil, made with real puppies. Mwahaha, <laughs> after one sip, you'll be the baddest on the block. And welcome back. So grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Do you put anything on top of your sandwich after? No, of course not. Do you dip it in anything? No. No tomato soup? No, it's gross. Really? It's disgusting. I can't have grilled cheese without a little cup of tomato soup. I might vomit right now. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> no, that's that's disgusting. Why? Like late what's like what's your favorite late night snack? That's probably grilled cheese is my like late night snack. Oh. It all depends on what I have. But if I if I had just like unlimited access to anything, mm -hmm. mm, probably bacon. Bacon? Yeah. Like I could eat bacon probably like all day every day. So how many like do you cook at a time? Oh, the whole pack. So how, how much is that? <laughs> a pound. <laughs> a pound of bacon? Yeah. That can't be healthy. Probably isn't. <laughs> but do you put anything with the bacon or just bacon? Um, if I pan fry it, it's just bacon. If I oven do it, then I'll... You I'll oven bacon? Candied bacon. Candy bacon? Yeah, so you start baking it at like 375 or something, maybe 400, I don't remember. I have to look at the recipe every time. But then you put on um, brown sugar, and then oh. bake it, turn it over brown sugar, and you keep brown sugaring it until the fat is gummy. It's a candy. I used to work at uh, Chick-fil-A, and we used to have, they had like a special like brown sugar bacon, and they made it that same way. It was disgusting. So gross. You don't like it? No. Why not? Because it's so, like, why are you putting brown sugar on bacon? Because bacon is a spice. So bacon goes well with anything? Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, have you ever had the bacon shakes from Jack in the Box? No, that's disgusting. Bacon <laughs> goes with everything. No, except for cold stuff. Like, you can't have a cold, like, a bacon flavored drink. That would be gross. Oh, we do need a cut, though, for today. Oh. Uh -huh. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> Even though you don't like bacon. 